Okay, so here are the products you're gonna need. You're gonna need a nice wax, styling wax, heat protection spray, edge control, and um, a holding spray, and of course our Kanekalon hair. You're gonna wanna start off with clean hair. If you're natural, go ahead and blow dry it and flat iron it straight. And also use a heat protection spray, but if you're not, skip this whole step entirely and you can go straight to the braiding section. Now let's lay these baby hers. Um, use the edge control. I use Design Essentials. Um, go ahead and apply it to, generously to your edge area. <laughs> and go ahead and mold it into place. So what I'm doing is I'm using my comb and my fingers to create the shape I'm going for. Once you swirl your baby hairs down, get your Gorilla Snot, honey. And that would just hold everything in place and make everything a lot smoother. So what the Gorilla Snot does is locks everything in place and makes it humidity resistant. So whenever you sweat, it doesn't curl right back up. Once you've laid down those baby hairs, go ahead and get your two packs of Pankalon hair. Um, open up the first pack and you're gonna cut this in, not half, but you're gonna cut a little bit of the excess off. So basically you're cutting off about 25% of the length off. So you have this little short piece and then you have 75% of the length left. All I'm doing is just stretching out the hair so it's not so um, bulky at the ends, just diffusing it out some. This is our second pack and I'm leaving it as is. I'm not doing anything to it. Probably gonna stretch out the ends, but that's about it. You're gonna start your braid off with this long piece here. I'm going to use Mari's beeswax to um, mold down her hair, make sure it sticks together and it's nice and shiny. You know I don't use Echo Styler gel or anything that's water-based because she's natural. But if you're not natural, girls, go ahead and use whatever gel that you like. Okay, I don't care. Um, but yes. Now where you part this hair is very important. Do not part it in the center of your head. Do it off center, it just gives it a nice even flow. As you see, the parting is more towards her left side than the center. So let's begin our braid. I used the whole first pack that we did not cut. And I'm just um, attaching my hair to her hair and doing a regular cornrow. And as I continue to braid because it's so big I may use my comb to help me uh, put the hair in place because I hate braiding I'm not really a braider so these little techniques help me out a lot Make sure you don't braid too tight because at the end we're going to loosen up our halo braid. I'm 
remember the pack that we cut? We're gonna take pieces from that other pack now and add it to our braid. It's the longer piece that we cut. So he's gonna continue to give me hair and I'm gonna just feed it into our braid as we go down. Once the halo braid is complete, just braid the ends all the way down. Here I'm measuring exactly where I want my want to pin up my braid, um, and that's how long I'm going to braid it. And for the rest of it, I'm just going to melt it off with my flat iron. Go ahead and fluff out your braid. Um, just pull them apart and give them a nice, looser, bigger effect. This part right here makes a huge difference, y'all. Once you're done pulling them apart, go ahead and pin up the loose braid under your halo braid. So now you're done. Not really, but that part's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and make everything neat and give it a nice finished look. I use my bobby pins to get rid of all that craziness going on in the crown of her head. When you pull the braids apart, it does make the crown kind of fluffy. So you just go back in with your rat tail comb and your hairpin and just tame it down. Your curling wand can help um, tame those flyaways. It works really good. Whatever the curling wand didn't mold down, use your scissors and just snip them off. And last but not least, to complete the look, use your holding spray, no, your pump it up free spray, like the extra hard kind, so that way when you're sleeping and you put on your scarf, it doesn't get messed up. Thank you dolls for watching. 
Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to leave comments below as to what other videos you might like to see. Check out my previous video on how to do a ninja bun slash top knot bun. Thank you.